I'm just out here doing a bit of deadheading. And I wanted to share this rose with you because it's just spectacular, stunning, absolutely stunning. And it will be like this in continuous bloom until December, January. It'll just keep going. It did last year. I don't know for sure who this is. <laughs> I did a lot of research and asked a lot of questions and looked at thousands of photos and descriptions and fragrances and anyway, I think it might be Sophie's Perpetual, but I don't know for sure. And it was here when we moved in, bought this place in uh, the end of 21. So this has been here. A long time though because the neighbour over the road that we sort of made friends with um, they remember this rose from a long time ago so uh, I think this rose has been here ages I cut this down last year to about two and a half foot maybe around that um, and it is throwing up new canes you see here yeah, look lovely lush boing soft bouncy lovely new cane there and there's another one here look because I chopped this off down here you can see in here um, I cut that off there because that was not producing last year there was um, a big fat gnarly cane that came this way but um, nothing grew on it at all it just looked spent really so um, I sort of hacked that off and look what's happening, you see, because of that, look, <laughs> a newbie, look, ooh, nice and bendy, lovely new, lovely new cane. So there's a few of those around, so it didn't mind me doing that because I was a bit concerned that I was making it look sort of windswept to the right because it didn't have any canes over here. Well, Mother Nature is a wonderful thing, isn't it? Because look, I have got myself a new cane over here. So, Sophie, or whoever she is, Miss Gorgeous here, won't look, um, although she doesn't really when she's... I know it's lopsided, because I know that all these canes <laughs> are heading off to the east over there. Um, and there's nothing coming in this direction at all. But really, as you look at it as a as a shrub, it, nobody would really know that. But I know that. So I'm chuffed that um, there's something going to be going um, in the opposite direction. And um, she didn't mind me chopping that off because I chopped quite a bit off. But it wasn't productive and it was really old like the rest of this. And um, maybe over the next few years, you know, I can chop a few more of these old gnarly ones off and um, rejuvenate her and, and, you know. But anyway, um, I just thought I would show you how beautiful she is. And I can't say for certain that it's Sophie's Perpetual. But what I do know is that it has a tea, a rose tea scent. And it is spicy. Look, look how lovely she is. Oh, the wind. <laughs> this is not broken, by the way. This is this is me. <laughs> this is this is me. My nursing skills. <laughs> not. <laughs> um, we've had really gusty wind for days and days, and um, I was about to deadhead it, and I realised it wasn't um, snapped. It hadn't actually fully bent. It was just kind of slightly bent over so I went into the potting shed and I found um, a twig because I keep all my twigs and um, canes and things that I cut off other things because they come in handy for clematis and all kinds of stuff propping stuff up and so I've made a splint for it <laughs> now I used to use a frog tape for this for my clematis when because sometimes clematis can do this they can get a bit whipped about and they're not they're not actually damaged but they just need a bit of help and I used to use um, green frog tape for this um, purpose but when I went um, they didn't have any green so we've ended up with blue 
um, but it's the same stuff, it's just like masking tape. Um, and I've just put a small, very thin uh, twig that I've cut off something. I don't know what, but anyway, I've cut it off something. And I've just made a splint for it, really, and fastened it on. So it's fine now. And I'll get to enjoy all these blooms, look. Whereas if it had have been properly bent, I would have had to have cut that back, you know, just probably to, to here. Um, so that will give me all these you see so what's that three six nine like what is that eleven so I, I get to see eleven blooms that i wouldn't have seen if i'd had to go and cut that down so although it looks a bit silly and i don't have any green frog tape so it's a bit obvious with the blue but anyway so if you if you do get a a bit of a bendy bit you don't have to chop it off if you <laughs> If you've got good nursing skills like me, <laughs> you could um, <laughs> you could make a little splint. Anyway, it'll only be on there till these are finished, and then it'll come off, and I'll cut it back down to there, and we'll be we'll be off again. But we've had some really nasty nasty gusty winds, and um, that one must have taken the brunt of it, and it's just got a nasty little um, like a limp bend in it. So anyway, it's fixed now. It hasn't so. There you go. But don't she look? Doesn't she look? She look gorgeous. She is just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at her. Hello. Beautiful. Look at those. She's really good. She is really, really good. Hello. You think so as well, don't you? Yeah, she's good, isn't she? she? Smells good. Spicy tea, I get. Stick my nose in here. Yesterday, I stick my nose in here. And um, there was a wasp already in here, so I think we were both a bit surprised. We were eye to eye, but I managed to get away without getting, <laughs> getting stung. <laughs> yeah. Rosy. Spicy. See, there's a creature in there, I think, already, so don't stick your nose in there. Who's that? There's a, there's a bee in there, I think. Fast asleep, or better not disturb him, had we? You just go back to sleep. Stick your nose in these. These are, these are sort of newish ones, look. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Very perfumey. You know, with that spice, sort of um, very, very rich, um, spicy, warm rose with tea. You know, like strong tea leaves. It's, it's lovely. Anyway, my husband can't even smell this rose. He doesn't get anything off it at all. And I really do. And noses are funny. JJ who I, I speak to on, on, on YouTube, he does some wonderful videos and he has got amazing roses, absolutely stunning. He's got everything, it's wonderful and he, he's, he, he's getting me in a lot of trouble because every time I watch one of his videos, I want something. <laughs> so I get into a lot of trouble because I'm, I'm spending again on roses again, which is all I ever spend my money on anyway, really, is roses. But it gets me into a lot of trouble because every time I watch a video of his, I want to buy something. But um, he, he can't smell sweet honey. And I get um, a smell like timeless, timeless pink rose, which is a very popular rose. I think you get it in lots of garden centres, timeless collection. There's pink and purple and white and I don't know, all sorts of colours. Um, but I think sweet honey smells like timeless pink but fainter. Timeless pink is quite a strong scent, whereas sweet honey, I say, is a, a light to medium scent. But if you ever see a timeless pink in a garden centre somewhere and you sniff it, that is what sweet honey smells like, only not as strong to me. That's And I've got a, I've got a timeless pink and a sweet honey out at the moment around the front. And I did that this morning. I sort of went and double checked and stuck my nose in sweet honey. And then I stuck my nose in timeless pink. And, you know, they are the same kind of sweet rose 
accent but sweet honey is not as strong as timeless pink which is quite a strong scent but jj can't smell it at all and my husband can't get anything off this no matter which one i shove his nose in he, he, i mean he's he doesn't have a good sense of smell at all um so you know that might be something to do with it but he doesn't get anything off this no tea it doesn't get um any spice it doesn't get any rose, nothing. But I can tell you now, these creatures are getting something, aren't they? Look at that. They're loving it. They're like, oh yeah, oh yeah, let me have some of that. So this is what happens, I go stick my nose in and I'm face to face with one of these little guys. <laughs> anyway, neither one of us got harmed yesterday, but we both got a bit of a shock when I stuck my nose in and up it popped. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> anyway, it was nice to me and it didn't hurt me. He's, he's having a, a face full look. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely lovely and also lovely. Look, this is um, Pink Iceberg. I didn't order this, I ordered a white one. <laughs> I ordered a white climbing one because this is not a climber, although it's quite tall, isn't it? But I ordered a white one. Anyway, it died and they sent me a replacement and they sent me this. I think two, they sent me two because two died. But anyway, they sent me this and it's lovely. It's absolutely gorgeous. So I, I don't really mind. I've got loads of buds still to come. Loads. And it's flowering right down here. Because I, I cut some smaller ones when I cut it. I uh, cut it at different levels so that it would flower at all these different heights. And it's worked out quite well. So I've got, um, I've got roses coming there and there and there and here. So um, that, that worked out quite well rather than having all of the roses up here so I'll do that again with this because I, I like it I think it's worked out really well and it's performing brilliantly because a lot of the other roses have had the first flush and they're done and these stay on for quite a long time a lot longer than some of the other roses like the David Austin roses I find that they seem to fall off within a few days but these stay for several days before they start to open. You know, it'll stay like this for a few days and, and then it'll be at this stage for a while. And then this, you know, it, it takes a while for them to fully open. Oh, all right, am I in your way? <laughs> but look, there's loads on it. This is Gyrenus from a cutting that I did. And there's another one. Where's the other one? Here's the other one. But this, look at that. Not bad, is it? It's looking lovely. But this is, I mean, it really just is just gorgeous, absolutely. Just beautiful. I love it. But I can't say for certain that it is Sophie's Perpetual. All I know is that it's it's a warm, spicy tea, a bit rosy fragrance, and that it fades in the middle and it's paler, almost silvery pink in the centre, and then it's much darker around the edges. And it's huge! <laughs> Anyway, whatever it is, I absolutely love it. And I'm really chuffed about this little fella here. And look what he's got on top. Look at all these. <sighs> Fabulous. Fabulous. Who else have I got to show you? This is still going. This is our Beth. See, I'm out deadheading. I haven't done this one. Um, but our Beth is still going, look.
lot's still on our bear. And she has a lovely, lovely fragrance. Look. Very pretty. This is um, Peter Beale's Arbeth, and it's um, named after a lady that worked for Peter Beale's. I think she passed away, quite sad. And um, I read the story about um, how they named her and, and um, the charity and everything that's in her honour and um, I just, I, I mean, I love the look of it and I love the scent of it but I just thought I liked the story behind it so I wanted to buy it and I'm really glad I did. I think it's beautiful and it's um, a prolific bloomer and you can see it is because I've um, got quite a few that that are finished that have, you know, gone over now after the first flush but um our Beth is still is still going and look there's buds coming still and um she's still flowering so I think that's gonna be a good one for me. I love it. And of course Irene, love Irene. Let's take that one off. Irene's going again, look. Look at all these buds. Mm-mm. This one here, huh, that, <laughs> it has a look of that pink iceberg to me. I bought Walls Time, but I didn't, did I? Mislabeled. Surprising. And look, this is Margaret Merrill, and she's got, she's got a bud there. So, and there's some buds coming there on Margaret Merrill. And here, look. She's uh, lovely. Of course, England's rose that I did the video of the other day. <laughs> Beautiful. Stick your nose in there. Oh no, better not. There's somebody in there. Look. There's always somebody in when you want to stick your nose in. There's a creature in there, so I better not I want to disturb him. Stick my nose in this one. I don't think there's anybody in this one. There's nobody in there. I'll stick my nose in here. Oh, oh yes, yes. It's lovely. It really is beautiful. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful. New dawn. That's flowering. Oh look, a dead head. That's, I think that might be my first dead head of new dawn because she's only just coming out now. I don't think I've dead headed her yet. So we're only just getting to know each other, aren't we? She's lovely. Beautiful. So I'm happy with that. That's coming along. Boldenese. Dead headed that the other day. That's just about finished, but it's coming on again. Look, we have a bud, and I have no idea what all this um, papery brown is on the leaves. They've got like um, dried up papery browny. I don't know, can't see any aphids, so I don't know if it's just the sun, if it's been too hot, or if it's something else, or if it's a deficiency or what, but... Um, papery it just comes away so I'm not sure what that is I'll have to I'll have to look that up because I've not seen that before but um, I'm not sure what's causing that but it's not stopping it blooming so that's good and ballerinas blooming these are all um, bare roots from um, earlier on this year so they're only these are all babies they're just you know they're in the they're in the first year so they're not going to be 
wowzer yet, but they're getting going. These are lovely. I love my clematis. Beautiful. This again, mislabeled. Supposed to be Miss Bateman. And Miss Bateman is white. But to me, this looks exactly like this. <laughs> and this is Comtesse de Bouchard. So I think that is probably the same as this. If not, they are very similar. Anyway, that's quite nice actually, if they do match up and they join up up here. That's quite nice actually, isn't it, if they are the same. But it was supposed to be a white one, that. Anyway, it's not. <laughs> so, maybe that's another happy accident. Maybe it was meant to be. Of course, the sweet peas. They're coming along. This one down here is another new one. And this is sea foam. And you can't really see it for all this nemophila. <laughs> but sea foam is... Oh, there's a dead head there, look. Sea foam is happy. Look, that's sea foam. Beautiful. I think it'll be happy there. That's hibiscus there. Growing beautifully. Looking very well. Very happy with that. Cosby Lane. She's had her first flush and she's finishing, but the bees are still all over her. I've deadheaded one side, but I haven't deaded this, deadheaded this side, but I've done the other side. I need to come round here and, and do that. These are lovely. These are called flocks of sheep. <laughs> Aren't they cute? Look at them. They're really bonnie, they're lovely. I love them. They're just um, so delicate looking. And the colours. A sort of um, pastel colours. I've got them all over actually. They're in here with all this lot. I've got tons of stuff in here. Roses and lavatera. Too much. Unfortunately, I've overcooked it again, as I always do. But anyway, that's what I do. I just put too much in everything. I've got a rose in here that <laughs> you can hardly see, but Judy gave me. <laughs> it's getting eaten by some petunias. There's some more flocks of sheep in here, and these are um, antirrhinums, these are um, anemones, anemones, some um, lobelia here, more anemones, which are stunning, aren't they, bonnie? They're so lovely. They have really lovely shape to them and colour. I've got dahlias in here, I've got mountain flocks in here, more anemones and more antirrhinums. This is um, a burgundy wine lavatera that I took from a cutting last year. Another rose, I think that's just a supermarket type rose, it's nothing to write home about. But it's pink and it's flowering and it's full of buds. So it's um, it's welcome. There's um, Strawberry Hill back here. If you can see that, that's Strawberry Hill back there, and sort of heading over the edge there, and some more uh, petunias here, and some more mountain flocks, and more dahlias, and that's some um, jasmine. That's a Trachospermum jasmine. But they don't look bad, do they, these? This is pretty. That's Achillea. That's lovely, isn't it? And these are geraniums. They're lovely. That's Donation. Camellia. 
my favourite camellia, beautiful pink, sort of semi double flowers, glorious. And it's doing well now, it wasn't, it was quite yellow and unhappy because I think our pH is not ideal. I think we're just over um, what it would tolerate, but only just if you know what I mean. So I have to amend the soil, but if you feed them and put the right ericaceous soil in, then they do reward you and she's glossy and happy now. And she wasn't, she was yellow and not getting the nutrients she needed, but she's fine now. And if you look, you can see how how happy she is now to say that we don't really have the soil naturally to grow acid loving plants she's um, she's doing okay I added some uh, sulfate of iron and um, I bought um, some feed granular slow release feed and of course she's in ericaceous compost but quite often that's not enough because you know the ericaceous compost it's only good for um, a short space of time just for a few months and after that um, you know it's, it starts to dwindle so you do need to top it up with with you know um, iron so but I've done that and she's she's happy now she's saying Ooh, Ooh. Emily's still in flower I've cut a lot of them off but this is one cane that is still producing and it's got an antirrhinum stuck around the back of it <laughs> but this is Emily she's still got flowers on which is lovely I do love Emily but she's just about finished her first flush really this will be the last of it and I cut the others back sort of last week and they're done but that that's the last cane that's got any the roses on of Emily so but she is strong she is a really lovely lovely scent beautiful scent strawberry hill is still in flower and still has buds so we're still going more buds to come this is Polish spirit that I've just planted this year thought that would be quite a nice contrast with strawberry hill the purple and I think it's quite a vigorous grower as well I think they might complement one another but still got quite a few buds to come she's lovely is anybody in there can I get a sniff oh yeah <laughs> Oof. oh I do love the scent of strawberry hill Gorgeous. Look at them. Very happy. And I love the scent of this rose. It's stunning. Absolutely stunning. Oh. Very, very sort of candy floss, bubblegum, rose, very strong rose. Wow, it's just, it's so lovely. It's really, really beautiful. I love that rose. And this is kicking out a new one for me. Look, woohoo, look at this. Oh, very happy. I'm happy to see you. Look at this. You're happy. Yes, you are. Let's have another sniff. Oh, yeah, gorgeous.
gorgeous. And these buds look still to come. And these are just about to open. We've had so much rain and so much wind that you have to give this lot a round of applause for hanging in there. These poor things. I mean, we've had ghosty, horrible wind. In fact, look, this is my actinidia kilometer in here. <laughs> it was up against the, the house. Um, but we've put some mirrors up now. Um, and it was just there at the side of the planter going up here on the wall so um i've moved it for now i'm gonna have to find a new place for it i've had them ages because when i got the one for the front when i moved everything around there the, the aces when i moved the aces around the front because some of them were burning i bought a mirror for the area where the aces are going because it just seemed a bit a bit bland it needed some it needed to be lifted somehow and get a bit of light reflected and it's work it did it but before we fitted it at the front i um i sort of looked here and thought oh i think mirrors might look nice here yes so of course <laughs> my husband probably cringing thinking oh god what what does she want now <laughs> and um <laughs> And so before we went to, to hang it, I said, hang on a minute, let me just put this here. Can you just stand there and can you... <laughs> anyway, um, offered it up to have a look and thought, oh yeah, I like that. One either side of the kitchen window is going to look amazing and it, um, it, it will just, it'll just look great. <laughs> so, but anyway, it does, doesn't it? So we, we sort of rushed out and went and got those, but we've not had time with everything else that's been going on and I've been painting inside like uh, a crazy person so I've not had time really to put them up but we did it um, on Sunday I think um, so yeah two days ago so they look lovely don't they and they sort of reflect um, the view you can I don't know if you can see in there but you can actually see actually see the view that we have over the hills and far away but it just looks lovely I, I just like the I like the effect that you get from it it's beautiful and you can actually see the hanging basket reflected in the, the window they look lovely hanging baskets looking lovely And you can see the fountain reflected and they just I think they just add something anyway I've sort of in trouble for that but I think now that he's seen them up and how it looks I think I think I'm forgiven now but the, it does look nice I don't think I can get them for anywhere else I think <laughs> I think it might be too much to put them anywhere else we've got enough now we're three <laughs> <laughs> 